All right. I don't know if I'm in trouble yet. Because I gotta show you guys something. You're gonna go, what? Okay. Okay, uh, where is it? Where's the little wire? Uh, it's in here. Hang on. My dad is gonna flip. I threw it in here. Yeah. These little connectors here. Okay. Exact same thing I got for uh, the packs of 15 each. Yeah, there's the male, there's the female. They should fit. They better be the same. They look the same. Either way, you can bring them back. Guess how much these two are? Pack each a pack of 15. But basically, my dad needed six of these and six of these. And a pack of 15. Take a wild guess. $51 and some odd cents for those two packs. The lady's like, Do you want the the real cheap ones? They're like three dollars. I said, what, well, what's the difference between these ones? The other ones, uh because the other ones you just have to put the um the shrink wrap on it. But I thought, well. My dad wanted the same thing, so I'll get him the same thing. I'll tell him about the cheaper ones. But I think he already has the cheaper ones. And he wanted to go with these. These ones are thicker for heat, more heat resistance, right? So, uh, higher amp loadage, I guess. I'm not too sure. Make sure I don't go over the cliff here. Wow, that's hot in here. It was freezing this morning. Oh yeah, there's a cliff there. Cliff. Remember, do not go over cliff. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so it's like it's her starter and uh whatever on his uh his big four-wheeler right that thing's got a good chunk in it it's a 660 so you know it's got pretty high compression so you're probably gonna floor it floor it there we go oh get some air in here god that's hot uh freezing in the morning roasting in the afternoon uh but anyway um yeah so like that's like crazy expensive mind you they're usually overpriced anyway but even still like the lady's like you sure you're gonna want these these ones are gonna be really expensive you're better off to just get the uh, shrink wrap and buy the cheap ones I said, yeah but the shrink wrap i don't think is thick enough for the heat because you know like starters right by the engine right so i know shrink wrap will take a lot of heat there's that nice truck again isn't that beautiful oh love to have that just to drive it around to do groceries and stuff you know like i don't want to work i don't want to work with it but i just want to drive it like an hour or so a day and that's it just for fun um so uh, anyway uh, yeah wow my dad gave me 20 bucks and then he, he all he had was a hundred dollar bill he goes wow you must get both packs he said i'll probably need more money you know like i, I my dad still, like, he understands inflation, but he, I don't think he's quite up on the situation that the world's in right now. Right now, So it's like, when I tell him, everything's going to get really, really, really expensive, like, every week, you know what I mean? Um, he, he still doesn't quite believe me. Like, oh, it's not, not going to be that expensive. Because he's thinking of all, a little Mickey like, thing like that should be like 10 cents a piece, right? And uh, it, he's right, it should be like 10 cents a piece, but no, those are like two bucks a piece if you... Uh, well, 15, so 30 bucks a pack almost uh, for one, and then the other pack would be like a buck something. So, whatever, it came out to 51 bucks. So, the, the spade connector, then the, I guess the loop was cheaper. But I got the receipt, so he can bring them back if, uh, if he needs, you know, if it's too expensive for him. Uh, that's a lot of money. But then he's got to fix his four wheeler anyway, so, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, you don't win for losing, that's for sure. Definitely not giving the stuff. So anyway, I'm going to head back, work on some of my chains. Oh, so we got a canoe out. i got to get roof racks for this so I can take the canoe out. Like this summer, I don't care how poor I am this summer, I want to enjoy myself. You know, like if I can't do things, you know, I'm not the type of guy that likes fancy restaurants and stuff like that. Like, you know, like I just want to enjoy stuff like, you know, canoe trips. Uh, you know, a little fishing trip here or there, maybe with my nephew. Something like that. I'm 
my camping days, I've done enough of it when I was growing up that I'm like, ah, you know, if I never camp again, I'm <laughs> groundhog with his head stuck out there. That's a bad place to have a groundhog hole. He's gonna get run over. Um, he's, he's like in the sand there. Uh, but like, you know, I've done enough camping that, um, you know, if I never go camping again, fine. I'm more one of those guys who just like to be out for the day and then get sleep in my bed, you know. You know, I, 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 I like camping once in a while. But uh, it's like I've done so much of it, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, I guess the luster has gone or whatever. It's kind of like, yeah, I'll go have fun for the day and then come back home. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I don't need to do the whole weekend thing with the guys. I've done that so many times, you know what I mean? It's nice to do it once in a while, but it's just like, yeah, I know, you know, like you enjoy it, but it's just like, you know, you get your fill of it after a while. Um, it's like the bushcraft channels, you see a lot of them, they, they go hard for like a couple of years, then they're just like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do something else. And it's like, yeah, yeah. You know, once you learn the skills, the bushcraft skills and all that, you kind of like, okay, I need to practice them maybe once in a while, but not every weekend. But, uh, you know, like canoeing, kayaking, I'm more into that stuff. Maybe once every couple of years, do a big portage somewhere, you know, make, make a go of it, enjoy yourself. But I like doing things on the cheap too, right? Because it's just, it's never about the money really to have fun. You know what I mean? Like you find it, you can go to a campground and have fun, but you can also find a place on crown land where you can have the same amount of fun, right? So that it, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. You know what I mean? Like you, you could spend a lot of money and have fun or you could spend a little money and have fun. You know, just you might have to rough it a little bit more like uh, some people's idea of camping is, uh, you know, they have to have, uh, you know, running lights and, you know, it's not camping, you know. Camping means if you don't have fire, you don't have light, <laughs> you know, or a good lantern or whatever. Maybe you bring a battery flashlight, but, you know, you're by campfire most of the night. That kind of stuff. But anyway, yeah, so we've got the pop cans gone, most of them. Did that little run. The still shop was closed for lunch. This little town, like everything closes down for lunch. But I did make $27.50 in my uh, pop cans today. Not bad. Got rid of all the big bags. That I'm happy about. They just are so cumbersome to deal with. Right? So, now I'll go home, work on some chainsaws, work on the chicken coop, get ready for the chickens. Uh, they should be here by the last week of May. And uh, there's not much left to do. We just got to get that four-wheeler out of the chicken coop and uh, clean it out. Set everything up. Uh, the fence. The far side of the chicken coop. Uh, I can take my time with that. Um, yeah, there's not much left to do there. Hopefully I'll have that done this weekend. I'd also like to have the boat cleaned up maybe polished by the end of this weekend so when I start full bore next week you know just one thing less and then maybe early May uh, we're the 26th of uh, April right now but maybe early May I can 